I'm Dr. Connie. I'm your host of Mind Your Health Podcast. I share my unique perspective, both as a practitioner and a patient battling autoimmune condition for over 25 years, because I had to figure things out on my own And my education in my practical approach as a patient allows me to truly integrate it so that you can be whole and the burden of sick care is no longer your own burden to carry. And this is what we help you with in this podcast. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mind Your Health Podcast. I am Dr. Connie. And if you're joining me for the first time, I have extensive background and education in different health disciplines that span both Eastern and Western medicine. Not only that, I have a unique perspective of the medical system because I've been both a practitioner and a patient, struggling with gut and autoimmune issues for the last 25 years. That being said, I work with tons of patients who just like me, were tired of going from practitioner to practitioner without any answers as to why they felt so bad and want to get to the root of their symptoms so they can start living life on their own terms again. And how I primarily do this is by teaching patients how to regulate their nervous system through yoga so they can achieve a balanced state of being that allows all body systems to function optimally. But through my methodology, functional yoga medicine, I also educate and train health and wellness practitioners so that they can provide the same kind of care and results for their clients. So today, we will embark on a transformative conversation that's pivotal for health practitioners and yoga teachers, but will still be helpful for those of you who aren't practitioners, but are aiming to heal your body and get rid of your symptoms. This information will empower you with the knowledge that will allow you to speak to your doctors with confidence so that you get exactly what you need for your healing, as opposed to being at the mercy of what your doctor thinks you need. I have a lot of education and I used to think just knowledge was enough to get me through. I was taught how to be a physical therapist, how to be a registered dietitian, how to practice functional medicine. When the rubber met the road and I got in the clinical space, oftentimes I got away from really experiencing the very thing that I learned. I can talk about it, explain it to the patient without embodying exactly what that looks like. Each patient that walks in or a client that walks in comes with their background, a host of complex interactive things that they've got going on, both in their minds, their upbringing, limiting beliefs, and all their emotions wrapped around their current circumstance and the symptoms that they bring. You have to learn to embody that in you as an example. And that was when I really found yoga to tie all my knowledge base, theoretical understanding, into a way where I can apply it in my own self so that I don't get sick, but I understand what it feels like to be a human being, to have the challenges of time, money, circumstances, limiting beliefs. And I myself had to work through the theoretical knowledge and really applying it in my own life, not the physical therapy, nutrition, all of the theoretical understanding of itself. But I learned through yoga how to effectively utilize these disciplines in a way where I was growing from the inside out. That, my friends, is what I want for each and every one of you. So as a practitioner, I would work and I would be so focused on doing my work, seeing patients, that I would oftentimes in the busyness of my day and deep thinking all about the theory and the understanding of the knowledge and and really treating patients with that knowledge, I would be so stressed out, I would forget to drink water. I would forget to eat. And I would not practice yoga. And there was no mindfulness. It was all go, 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 constantly reading without applying. And that got me nowhere. And I don't want that for you. That experience speaks volumes because now you have in your hands your exact experience on how you navigated the dark times and the challenges you faced and what you did to overcome it 
using the knowledge base that you have. It's in you integrating it in your own life. Only then can you lead because here's the truth. I've been sick many times. The burden of sick care is on you. It was completely my responsibility. And me as a patient was thinking very differently from the smart practitioner with all the degrees. When it comes to push and shove and you're really sick at the mercy of your sickness, you have few choices. You're at the mercy of your dark space up here. To manage that through utilizing the knowledge require you to be a step up and level up to apply this knowledge in your life. And what better way than yoga? And that's why I stand by functional yoga medicine today. It's the most effective way I've learned to overcome my dark challenges within me and blast through and better understand on the other side with compassion as a patient, as well as a practitioner. When I'm treating patients, I respect and honor their safe space, know exactly where they are, what they must be feeling, and I can tune into that why, not because of my knowledge in psychology, but because I've been there and I've experienced and I've had to pull myself through. And yoga does exactly that. We're talking about the potential or potent distinction between knowledge and applied knowledge. So I want you to imagine you've just bought a bookshelf. You have two options. One reads the manual, discusses it, and even memorizes it. Two, read the manual and assembles the bookshelf. Which option gets you a functional bookshelf? Well, the answer is evident. The difference between these two options parallels the distinction between knowledge with applied knowledge. Knowledge in its raw form is like having a toolbox. You know you have a hammer, screw, and other tools, but that knowledge remains stagnant until you pick them up and use them. In the application, in the doing, that knowledge becomes transformative because you're building something. This is applied knowledge. I too used to believe education was just that. But I, or as I reflect on the skill set I possess from 25 years of integrating psychology, nutrition, physical therapy, functional medicine, and yoga, while each discipline taught me a lot, True skill comes from experiencing the knowledge in my clinical practice and even more for my personal health. Think of it this way. Reading countless books about swimming can teach you how to swim. Only when you dive into the water and feel it all around you, adjust to its currents and learn to stay afloat, do you truly understand and know swimming. It's the experiential understanding and the lessons along the journey that makes all the difference. Even yet, everybody's swimming style is different. Why is this so critical in possessions or professions like health and yoga? Well, because you're guiding someone on their journey and the depth of your impact truly comes from a place of experience, not knowledge. Knowing the steps of yoga pose or a therapeutic technique is one thing. It's quite another to have felt it in your bones and in your muscles and experience the true posture and alignment that comes physically first before it translates into your mental and emotional faculties. The challenges and its benefits, that experience is firsthand yours and yours alone. Let's put it this way. Would you trust a fitness trainer who never has done a workout or a meditation guru who's never meditated? Probably not. It's not just about their credentials on paper. It's about the lived experiences, the genuine insights and the art they bring to the table and everything that they've gained and tried and failed at and the challenges they've had to overcome. This is what makes their guidance valuable and so impactful. A true skill that you learn isn't the certificate on or the diploma that hangs on the wall. It's really the integration of it all that provides value for your clients. So to all health practitioners, yoga teachers, and anyone in the guiding role, 
your most significant strength isn't just in the certificates on the wall. It's in the battles you faced, the journey you've embarked on, and the wisdom you've gained through the application, the mistakes, and the experience. And this is the ability that truly you can artfully integrate it in all that you do and with all that you know. And that's what will truly resonate with those you serve. So what is exactly applied knowledge? Well, applied knowledge is beyond the basics of a certificate. At its essence, knowledge refers to the information, the straight up facts, principles, and understanding acquired through education and experience. I have lots of that, and many of you do too. It's the theoretical understanding of a subject. In contrast, applied knowledge goes a step further. It's the ability to use what one knows effectively in real world situations with all the things that happen in its human experience, right? Because everybody's going through a human experience. It's not just about the yoga. We bring a lot to the table in the practice of yoga, like our thoughts, our feelings, all the circumstances, and all the distractions. So practical application is the number one. And this is the, this is the most evident aspect of applied knowledge is the practicality. While knowledge might tell you a concept of what and why, applied knowledge will tell you the how. It's the difference between understanding the principles of aerodynamics, the inside, and being able to design a functional airplane, applied knowledge, okay? Second is experiential learning. Applied knowledge often stems from hands-on experience. For example, a person can read about how to ride a bicycle, knowledge, but until they get on the bike and try to balance, which is applied knowledge, they won't truly understand all the nuances involved. And you might learn some hacks along the way. Number three is problem solving. One key feature of applied knowledge is its use in problem solving. It's about adapting what you know to tackle new challenges. An engineer, for instance, might know various materials and their properties, but applying that knowledge to choose the suitable material for a specific project is where used knowledge shines or applied knowledge shines. Fourth is adaptability. Applied knowledge is dynamic. It's about taking foundational elements, foundational knowledge, and adjusting it to various contexts, environments, and challenges. For instance, a doctor might know about a specific drug, but understanding when to prescribe it is based on the individual needs and history of a patient that demonstrates applied knowledge, along with saying no to that drug or saying something with lifestyle interventions. Number five is bridging theory and practice. Applied knowledge bridges the theoretical concepts and tangible outcomes. For educators, it's about imparting facts and teaching students how to use this information effectively in real life scenarios. Six is continuous evolution. I call this growth. The realm of applied knowledge is ever evolving. As situations change and new challenges emerge, how we use our inside or knowledge will also need to adapt and grow. This requires a continuous commitment to learning and evolution and understand what's shifting and changing. So applied knowledge is a critical or it's a critical factor in many professions, especially those centered on service, healing, and teaching. It's where the rubber meets the road. It's the manifestation of theoretical knowledge in actionable, impactful ways. Whether it's a therapist applying therapeutic techniques tailored to an individual's needs or a chef adjusting a recipe based on available ingredients, applied knowledge is at the heart of expertise and mastery. This is an art combined with science. While knowledge provides the foundation, applied knowledge is the structure built upon it. It's where the abstract concepts meet tangible results, and it's often the metric by which true proficiency is measured. 
And as we wrap up, remember, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is transformative. Dive into your practices, immerse yourself in the experience and let that shape how you guide, teach and heal. Use your intuition. Your clients need your leadership to guide them to their highest potential, one that you must embody from experience with knowledge. I just want to thank you for taking the time for joining us today on Mind Your Health Podcast. And I want you to follow me for more at Dr. Connie Chung on Instagram, TikTok, as well as YouTube. I'll see you guys all next week.